The Cleveland Browns travel to Jacksonville to face the Jaguars on Sunday. Cleveland is a 5.5 point favorite on bet deck. 44.5 is the total in this game. Now the Browns have won two straight. They sit at 3-2 and two overall, looking like a playoff contender. Surprisingly, they've been doing it with offense. It's a conservative offense. They like to run the football, but it's been effective. The Browns currently 10th in the NFL in both yards per game and points per game. And they're facing a Jacksonville defense on Sunday that has not been good this season. Only one team has surrendered more points than the Jags. They're allowing 30.8 points per game. And unfortunately for them, the defense has been the strength of their team. That's because you look at this Jacksonville offense, last in the NFL in yards per game, points per game, rush yards per game. So look, when you combine a defense that's allowing over 30 points per game with an offense that's producing just 13.5 points per game, you have a team that is 0-6 and 1-5 and against the spread. That is the Jacksonville Jaguars. So at first glance here, this appears to be a real mismatch. However, there is a case to be made for the Jags in this situation. They've improved over the past two weeks, their defense especially. They've tightened it up on that side of the ball, surrendered just 33 combined points in losses to Pittsburgh and Tennessee. And the Browns, they've been vulnerable defensively themselves. The Browns currently 29th in total defense. You look at what Cleveland's done on the road this year. They've only played twice on the road. They lost in Pittsburgh in week one. And then they pulled out a one-point win in Tennessee a couple of weeks ago. You recall they were behind 28-3 in that game before coming back. So the Browns have been a bit suspect on the road this season. Jacksonville has been playing better of late. So a Jags bet in this situation makes more sense than a Jags bet usually does. I still don't think it makes enough sense to actually go there. Keep in mind, the Jags have been the worst team in the NFL for the past couple of seasons. They've been the worst team in the league to bet on. They've been underdogs now 35 consecutive games. In their last 27 games, they're 7-20 and 20 against the spread. That includes their cover last week. So listen, if you like the Jags here, if you're going to bet on the home dog, you're really taking a leap of faith because the Jaguars bet has not been a winning bet very often over the past couple of years. So I do lean towards Cleveland here, but I like him better on the money line. So if you're willing to bite the bullet and pay the price, I like Cleveland on the money line. Be very surprised if they lost this game. But if you must, go ahead and lay the five and a half. Lean towards the Browns in this spot.